Bienvenue à tous sur euh, Action Africa Culture AT55, la plateforme dédiée à la promotion de la culture africaine, d'où qu'elle vienne sur le continent africain et la diaspora, quel que soit le domaine artistique. Ce soir, on reçoit un artiste musicien, plasticien, créateur qui vient du Nigeria et dont vous allez entendre parler, j'en suis sûre. C'est la nouvelle star du Nigeria, il s'appelle Ibeji. Welcome everybody following this page on AEC. 55, the only platform that promotes African culture, whether it is on the African soil or in the diaspora. My name is Saxi Matawan, I'm a journalist in France 24, born and raised in Senegal, in Africa, passionate by African culture and decided with some amazing friends to give you for free the very best of African culture. But I will tell you more about this initiative July, so stay tuned, on July 15. So, the meanwhile, today, The story is not about us, it's not about me or about APC55, but about an amazing artist from Nigeria who doesn't look like his peers, a fabulous musician. Ibeji, thank you for being here. I would say, Aoming and Eko Ekuabo. I practice all day. <laughs> and I couldn't say it. Bonjour, Clément. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. So he's trying to speak French. I'll try to speak uh, Yoruba. It's going to be well, okay? <laughs> Excellent. So, Let me introduce my partner. Yeah, yeah introduce. Don't bring the guitar. Don't tonight. <laughs> yeah, hi, everyone. How are you doing? Hi. Hi to you. So you're, you're on live in Lego. Thank you for being here. Your website say that you are a mysterious, eclectic, enigmatic. What a chance that we are on Facebook, that we have all the time that we need to crack the mystery and that get the chance ah. to know you better. <laughs> Tell us more about you. Who is Ibeji? Or should I say, what is Ibeji? <laughs> and uh, how and when was born this character? Ibeji is uh, as a voice. It's a creative voice, born just over four years ago, um, with the, with the um, singular objective of using this instrument to tell messages. So Ibeji is a storyteller who uses the, music, the, the musical form um, as a means to tell stories. He tells stories about culture, our culture. He tells stories about our politics and our nation. He tells a beautiful story about our people stories that are very hardly ever heard, stories about the wonders and the mysteries of the, of the black race, a race that's been so denigrated and respected for 500 years and more, um, to tell stories about a culture that needs to be drilled and mined and shared with the world. So that's who we base it. It's about using music to tell our stories. Okay, so we, we need to crack the mystery, you know, I'm not gonna, you're not, you are not gonna get away with this. <laughs> Tell us more about the person behind Ibeji. Could you tell us something? Tell us something. The person? Yeah. Um, look, I, I know how, how keen you are to learn about Yoruba, Pat Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, the first thing about Ibeji, the word Ibeji itself means twin. Yeah. Twin. So it's a duplication, twin. Okay. Ibeji in Yoruba means twin. In other words, the word more than one. Okay. Yeah? So to the extent that there's a twin, there is the conveyor belt, the train. That's this thing that you look before you, yeah? And then there's the other side, which is the spiritual being, which is responsible for conveying the message, yeah? So I don't want to find out who the conveyor belt is. Yeah. But I say focus on the, on the spiritual being. Mm -hmm. Because the conveyor belt, uh, it's, just a, it's just a vessel for getting out the message. Okay. okay, so... <laughs> <That's the beach. laughs> okay, so we, we won't say, and we won't know more, unfortunately. We're going to keep the mystery. And I would say that it adds a little more something to your work, knowing, you know, all that mystery. And I kind of like it. Yeah. So. What I suggest is um, for people to just to have a glimpse of your work. Let's play a song from your last last album called Leke Leke. What is Leke Leke? Tell us. 
Lake Leke is a migrant bird, it's an egret. As little kids in, in West Africa who mm -hmm. stand, you know, in the late evening, sort of looking out for these birds and wishing for good luck. The story is that when the bird flies over your head, it gives you a little luck that is reflected on your um, on your little finger. Okay. So during the uh, when the when it's too cold of, of this part of the world, we wish for Lake Leke, the egrets, to come and bestow goodness on us. Take away the death, take away the sadness, and bring back good luck. Wow. So that's what Lickey Lickey is about. Okay, very good. So go ahead. We're going to play Lickey Lickey so people get to know what you're doing. Okay? Let's okay. hear it. Abby? I think we're trying to play it. It's coming. Yeah. So let's hear it. We don't have I don't know if you hear the sound properly. We don't hear any sound. You don't hear any sound? Oh it happens sometimes, I'm sorry. We're gonna try to to fix it. We're gonna try to fix it and uh, let people listen to you. So, but what I would say is, I was just blown up, you know, with your album. I I told you early on that I listened to it all all the night, you know. Okay, so um, this music is, um, I would say that the the creation, your proposition, you know, goodbye say. We don't know how to define it. So let's dig on to it. In it. Um, tell me, um, how do you consider yourself? Are you a singer, a visual artist? Um, who are you then? How do you consider yourself? Ibeji, like I said earlier, is a storyteller. So yeah. it's, it's about utilizing, um, first of all, it's about aggregating information visualizing the how to look in the eyes of third parties and then using music as a tool to tell that story. So um, like, a, like a great cinematographer or a great photographer or a great writer, the Beige's job is to use his best tools mm -hmm. to tell stories through music. Um, and that's all the Beige is. It's, it's about sharing our tales with those who don't know enough about us and who seek to know a little bit more about us. It's also about fun and entertaining. It's about sensory engagement. It's about, you know, just enjoying the beauty of music in and of itself. Because music is such an amazing tool. I, I remind you how at any given point in your life, you can relate moods, experiences to sound. Yeah, so it, it, it's more about telling sort of major and, and um, consequential stories. Sometimes it's just about sound and just making people have fun. Yeah. So yeah. de de defining your style is a bit challenging, I would say. Uh, it says uh, Afro fusion, jazz. Certainly, it's a it's a fusion. <laughs> we don't know. <laughs> Maybe help us you to define your song, your style. How would you? Uh, define typically, we define the Beji as Afro retro. Okay. Um, Increasingly, we, we use the language of fusion because I think it's somewhat easier. But what it means for us essentially is a fusion of old sounds, principally Yoruba sound, but we also tap into sounds that come across West Africa. So you will hear Igbo movements in that sound, you will hear um, Nupe movements, you will hear Fulani movements in that sound. Um, and it's about fusing all of that with contemporary Western sound, from jazz to soul to R&B. It's about bringing international sound closer towards African sound. So the essence is local African sound, but knowing that the market, both locally and internationally, is more familiar with international sound, there's a marination going on, or a marinating going on, just to assist the world to hear us. So we take international sound and sort of sprinkle it over local sound, and hope that people like it. Yeah, very well done. Very well done. I would say. 
So let's let's go into it. Uh, could you maybe play the first song just to let people to know what you're doing? So which one are we gonna start by? We're going to do Orisha B, yeah. Okay, tell us more Orisha about it. What does it mean? Orisha B, it's a celebration of, of African mother. Wow. Frankly, it's a celebration of all mother. Yeah, it's a song that said to 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 to, to to your children, there is nothing like a god called mother. Wow. Okay. So let's 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 hear it. Thank you. <laughs> in your last album, Ibezi. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Orisha Bia, I'm, I'm ready to, to, to speak uh, Yoruba, I'm telling you. I'm going, yeah. I'm going to be nervous. Yeah. <laughs> I have to be there. Wait for me, I have to be there. <laughs> so this is very nice. I would say thank you for both of you, you know, for it's a precious gift you know to give to the viewers to people who don't know you and don't have that chance much you know to to, to listen to live music and especially from africa and uh, this is so great so so generous from yours and i would like to thank you before we go further so thank you i would like to say that so um my my um so let's talk about yoga and language um, I was pretty amazed to see how you do your crafts, I would say, rather than your work. And um, the way that, um, that you mix the word from English and Yoruba. Tell us more, what place language can now occupy in your work? What place language occupy? Yeah. yeah. Fine question. What? <laughs> <laughs> I am... Um... I, I'm, of, I'm of English birth, yeah, yeah. and much of my years I spent growing up 
between Lagos and London. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, when, when I when I began this journey, I realized how much easier it is to sing in the language of my origin. And I don't know why. I, I've never been able to, to ascribe value to it. But it seems to be that there is something about language and culture that is so... Language clearly is a, it's a reflection of culture, but it's such a, an incredible tool for mining out culture. And the Yoruba culture, as you'll find, just from a very basic day, is so rich, so deep, so meaningful. It's about value, it's about meaning. Much of our culture is founded in humanity, first and foremost about human beings. It's about the connection between man and a spiritual being. And that is as fundamental as, as it gets. So it's not about the, the physical, it's about the meaningful, it's about the emotional, the aesthetic. And so it's such an incredible tool for sharing with the world. So that from the moment I, I started to sing in Yoruba, I got possessed by the language. And I myself have gone on an incredible journey, learning more about the language, about my own people, about my culture, and discovering just the most amazing um, bits and, and, and pieces about it. Like I said, I, I can't wait to receive you into Yoruba land, into Nigeria. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm taking you on a journey that I myself feel, I feel privileged and blessed yeah, to encounter. It's an incredible journey. You will know that every, every, every member of this human race, this race called the humans, derives from this part of the world. Mm -hmm. This is the source. This is the place where it all began. And um, you will have heard the story that even the man, the Eskimo, the man who lives in the farthest North Pole, South Pole, wherever it is, come from here. Mm -hmm. the, first, the first mother is a black woman. The first child is a black child. The first child came from right here in Yoruba land. And so, <laughs> you know, you to share that with the world. Not surprising. Not surprising. <laughs> <laughs> the opportunity to share that with the world is such a privilege. Yeah. So thank yeah. you for giving me this platform. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being here. And we have uh, one uh, one request. I, I mean, I think I'm not quite the one, the only one who have just loved your album. So uh, Shola Adebayo asked you to play and to perform Do Imo Koku. So, I was just asking you to do this, so just please, please, Shola, this is for you, this is for you. This is for you, Shola, just for you. Yeah, thank you, thank you.
hope Shola you enjoy it. Thank you. Uh, thank you again. <laughs> I, I must I must say you know to people that uh, we are recording it you know uh, it's not professional of course you are not in your know, regular studio so the, the sound that might be you know um, the, 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 the the best way it should be so I suggest you know go to all the platforms you know he's on Deezer every platform that you know and download his music you know. Um, properly because he just so deserve it ok donc je vais vous dire en français pour ceux qui sont là allez sur toutes les plateformes écoutez sa musique sa musique est juste fantastique il nous fait un cadeau exceptionnel à jouer comme ça devant nous sans être dans son studio sans être dans les très bonnes conditions mais vraiment Ilou Ilou est un album qui mérite d'être écouté donc je vous conseille vivement d'y aller parce que c'est juste fabuleux et j'en parlerai un peu plus sur 124 d'ailleurs très vite mais vraiment, euh, écoutez, euh, écoutez ça, c'est vraiment fantastique. Donc, uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Where, where were we? <laughs> so, what is, what is this song about? Il, uh, sorry, Imokoku, it's a reflection on human nature, the limits of human nature, yeah? The, the incapacity, sorry, the, the tendency for people to be inconsistent sometimes. And it's a call, uh, it's a reflection on how pain and, um, and regret come from our, maybe our expectations, but also the feelings of human nature. So it's a song that reflects on the, on the limits of human nature. Uh -huh. So what, what is... What people, is sorry. sorry? People will fail you sometimes. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Tell me about that. <laughs> people will show you, will fail you big time, I would say, big time. So tell us what is what is your take your view on what is happening now? Um, I would say, of course, there's COVID nineteen, you know, um, running and you know being all over the place with the pandemic, of course. So, so what is your take on the uh, consequences in you know in African culture and, of course, and in you in yourself? How do you deal with it? COVID-19 or the pandemic has been a, a pretty tough, has been tough on the mind. Mm -hmm. Clearly, we're all in in, um, in reservation, if you like. We, we're, 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 we're social animals by nature. So when you take a part of that social context and you keep it at home, um, it can be hard. Mm -hmm. You know, it's even when you're in a small social setting, you know, um, it can be tough because you, people start to feed up, feed up one another. Um, for me personally, it's been an incredible period of creativity mm -hmm. um, because my music and my nature speak to introspection and reflection. I'm much more comfortable digging from within than I am from without. So when you give me space, well, I, the best comes out of me because he's not writing. You know, I, I do a lot of creative writing. I do scripts, I do music. And so it's been an, an incredible period for me. But I live in a in a broader universe, yeah. So what I think the, the deaths that are that are occurring around the world, or some of the pain that we draw from death, so it's so that even when you're alive, knowing that people can't carry their loved ones, um, that people are they walk their loved ones to a hospital, so walk away, and sometimes at the end of it, there's no further community. I come from a part of the world where funeral rights are as potent, as real, as relevant. As birthright, so that when you can't bury a loved one, there is a gap, there's something missing. Um, so it, 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 it's been a very tortuous period for, for me to that extent. So it's a period of pain, and much of that is reflected on the album in the movie. It's a journey through COVID, if you like. Yeah, it's a pain for not so much a return to the life we used to know, because that's gone. I don't think it will ever come back. But it's a dream for a new life, a world in which people are not dying in this number. We're not losing our loved ones. We're not having to deal with issues of death and death and death. But can we turn to a place of you know, some stability? You want to draw it back. You want to have the next back. Um, because at the end of the day, human beings are born, in my culture, to celebrate. You know, life is about celebrating. And when you can't tell it, it's, it's a pain for the spirit. So that's, that, that's you know, in some what COVID has meant to me. Mm, yeah, so very, very interesting. It, 
uh, I, I would just say that to summarize that it has been somehow a great time and an opportunity to create for you. So this yeah. is the thing. So we can't wait to see what, what else that you have to bring to the world afterwards. So, so, so that, that's a very good part of it. If we have to say the, the other, the, the lightness, you know, bringing up of these crazy moments and it's not so easy for everyone. So thank you for sharing this with us. Um, there's another question I want to hear from you. So you, you talk about identity and everything that you say. So of course you didn't miss what happened with George Floyd and all the uprising all over the world, you know, regarding what is uh, blackness and how, so you, you have lived and, you know, raised in London. So you have to deal with that, that kind, what is to be black in, uh, in London and in the Western world. So what is your take about what's happening now all over the world? Uh, for 500 years, my people have been treated with disrespect. We've been, we've been used as beasts of burden. Our land has been robbed. Our land has still been policed as a Go to the Congo, go across some part of West Africa. There's still a lot of policing going on. People of little content are treating people with little power with cruelty. Um, I'm just hoping that that this is a season in which humanity begins to reflect on what is done to the black man. So that when we say of Africa that they are age dependent, the West needs to become a bit more honest in saying, no, we feel from Africa and turn the weak African, that's exactly what we are, where the weaker continent, you exploit them, leave them and then you give them names that don't belong to them. So yes, um, the CLM movement, the Black Lives Matter movement, and the great people of us across the world, in, in the world's major cities, from Sydney to London to Paris to Bonn, um, Berlin and so on, who are on the street, demanding, asking, begging even, for black people to be given the same rights as others. I thank them. It's, it's been long in common. We're not less knowing. We're not less intelligent. We're not less given. We built America for Christ. Yeah? We built the railroads in Europe. The black man has contributed his part in NASA to aircraft development. We've done all of it. We've never been given credit for anything. To know the place that the black man has problems, you need to dig, you need to read, you need to discover. Because the books don't reflect our past. The only time our names are mentioned is in the context of, of music and sport. I think the only thing we do is we I'm not suggesting that that's not good enough to do by itself, because we are after all changing Western culture, our music, our fashion, everything is changing Western culture. But please give us credit for the great things that we have done. And get your neck, your knees off our neck. Let us win. That's what we're asking for. We're not asking for anything more. So I thank all of those who are taking the time, the heat, to fight across America and across Europe for me, for my loved ones, for my friends. We recognize what they're doing. So we thank you. Oh, okay. That's a good message. Thank you for this message. So the last, the last thing, because I, I'm afraid we, um, we have to leave it there. I mean, you know, we can't get enough for a few. I don't get me wrong, but we have unfortunately share the space for people, you know, to discover you more. So I have one request. That the last, um, the last song that you're gonna play for us. I just love it. <laughs> I just love it. What so could you tell us? more what that do what does it mean in in uh, just to complete my knowledge of your <laughs> <laughs> but that's right but that literally means brother okay and suraju is a name it's just a name so okay. the story of that suraju a young man who who a date of hard work makes it from from grass um to grace to the top okay
Okay, excellent. So let's listen to Bodas Raju then. that one is amazing okay so i really suggest i'm gonna say it again go to every platform now you know stop what you're doing stop watching us okay <laughs> and stream Ilu Ilu. it's just an amazing this was so 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 nice and so i'm so happy it was a great pleasure to speak to you talking to you receiving you on the first show for this platform aet 55 action african culture thank you ibeji it was a pleasure having you um i will say stay tuned for the next episode thank you i wish you luck i wish you all the best that you deserve i know that you're gonna be soon a very big star that you're gonna forget about us <laughs> i'm pretty sure i wish you all the best okay so you and godwin guitar i wish you all the best Thank you for being here. Thank you. And I wish you joy. And how do we say thank you in Yoruba? What? Okay. 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 I'm gonna get it. I'm 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 coming. I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. <laughs> Okay, so thank you. Merci, merci à tous ceux qui ont suivi ce premier live sur cette plateforme AC55. Donc, on vous en proposera d'autres. Suivez-nous sur les réseaux sociaux. Uh, go on Instagram, uh, Facebook. On est un peu partout. Donc, suivez-nous. Faites-nous des propositions. Proposez-nous des artistes. If you have great artists that you want to be here, please, you know, send us, you know, uh, on our detail. Contact at aec55.org. And we will do the best that we can, okay? Donc, on fait tout le monde. We don't do just um, musician, but also visual artists, cinematographer, every, 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 every kind of artist are welcome on this platform. So thank you. Stay tuned. Bye. Bye. Thank you. <laughs>